Uh, sort of preparing for this program, I've been reading a really interesting book, um, and can I recommend it to anyone listening? Uh, it's Exorcism and Deliverance, Multidisciplinary Studies, published by Pat and Oster. What The editors are William Kay and Robin Parry. That's Exorcism and Deliverance by Pat and Oster. Um, one really interesting chapter is by Philip... I think it's pronounced Weiss, uh, uh, W-I-E-B-E. Um, he is a professor, uh, but he has no problem with the, with demons as real spiritual entities. Um, he talks uh, in some detail in his chapter on deliverance and exorcism in philosophical pers- perspective uh, about some real cases he's, he's heard of or witnessed. Um, this was a really interesting one caught my eye. Um, under the label Other Transfer Cases, he says this, During my graduate studies in Adelaide, South Australia, I came to know a widely respected minister, Leo Harris, who, in addition to the duties that come with leading a movement of about 60 churches, across Australia and New Zealand also conducted exorcisms. In one of these events, the voices in an older man responded with the threat that if they, the plural form was used, were forced to leave, they would enter a certain young man who was known to Leo. The young man also lived in Adelaide, which was a city perhaps three quarters of a million people at the time. Leo said that he ordered the spirits to leave the older man in spite of the threat and also ordered them not to enter the young man. Well, within half an hour or so of this exorcism, Leo received a telephone call from the mother of the young man who had been named. She begged Leo to come to the house immediately because something strange had come over her son. When Leo arrived at the house, he was ushered into the room where the young man was resting, and upon shutting the door behind him, Leo heard the threatening voice that he had heard heard a short while ago say, "'We told you we would get him, didn't we?' Leo construed the fact that the events were in close temporal succession and that no apparent contact between the two had occurred as evidence that the exorcised spirits had indeed entered the young man. 